Hi everyone, we continue our coverage in DSCI 2025 in London, UK. We are at Subsea Craft booth. They showcase a new uh, unmanned surface vehicle named Mars. We have Lee Epsvert with us today, Chief Commercial Officer of the company. Hi Lee. Hi. How are you? Can you please introduce your new vessel to us? So this is Mars, our USV concept. Um, essentially, it's a modular platform designed to be able to carry a variety of different payloads. This configuration here actually has a space at the front for EW, and then the hatches at the side carry uh, loiter munitions from Andro. And its mission profile is all about the wingman concept. So a deployed unit being able to force project without risk to life. So the small form factor means that it fits on a number of vessels. And then, because it is configurable, you can push it out and have ISR capabilities or kinetic effects, if you so choose. As, as you mentioned, this is a multi-purpose vessel and it can be used with different kinds of payloads in accordance with the end user needs, right? And uh, what kind of configuration can we use on board this vessel? So, with our USV, actually you can run a number of uh, configurations and you're not confined by this whole form. Um, we actually designed and built this craft in 100 days using our technology blocks. And so under that theory, if you need something that's able to go into a higher sea state or a more challenging environment, then you can actually reconfigure the technology stack from this craft into a completely different hull form. If it's a larger hull form, you get more payload. With more payload, you get more options. So really, this system um, in its current configuration is all about uh, the, um, force projection from small vessels. But if you put the tech stack into a larger hull form, then you move into the realms of being able to do uh, persistent ISR operations. So monitor seaways, um, AS W types of concepts, really the imagination is the limit. You already start testing this vessel and it's close to be operational, right? And uh, what can we expect for this project in the following period? Yes, it has done a huge amount of testing. Most of that's from Australia, so we do a lot of our testing out in Tasmania. Um, it's also been to a number of other nations. What's next is the Mark II, so we're already in production. Um, we are building a number of these craft in different configurations uh, for different end users. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the information and thanks for joining us today. Oh, it's good to meet you. Thank you.